Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the New York Jets franchise here on Madden 18 and this is the playoff episode. We're taking on the Buffalo Bills in the wild card round. It is snowy. Another divisional matchup here against the Bills. We'll be playing them here the third time this season and Derrick Henry going to start it off with a short yardage touchdown. 7-3 later on, and another touchdown right there as Charles Clay able to get into the end zone, making it 14-3. Robert Wilson looking to answer, throwing it to Robbie Anderson, and it is a touchdown. 14-10, the score goes to. As the Jets inching a little bit closer now, later on here, end of the first half, it is Robbie Anderson again taking advantage of that lackadaisical secondary coverage right there. That is going to give the Jets a 17-14 lead. Now, late, late, late first half, Bill's threatening. It's Bennett, and he's going to throw the pick over to Kevin Tolliver as that will end the half. Bills don't get any points there. And now third quarter, coming out of the half, it's another touchdown to Robbie Anderson. His third of the day, he has been instrumental in this lead for the Jets. Later on, 24-14, to Robert Wilson scrolling, looking, finds a wide open spate, who you barely see any of, of in this season, but he is the rookie backup tight end. And then third and goal, it is going to be a touchdown. Oh my gosh, it's a Paul Richardson sighting. And that is going to give the Jets a 17-point lead. Second and 11 with under two minutes to play. There's a touchdown right there for the Bills as they inch just a little bit closer. They go for an onside kick, which is unsuccessful. And then Miles Gaskin able to give the Jets their 17-point lead right back. They trade a couple um, touchdowns there. Late in the game, it's a 38-21 victory for the Jets. Robert Wilson, four touchdowns and a pick. Miles Gaskin, only 78 yards and a touchdown. That's rather low for him, but still a decent game amongst like the league. Robbie Anderson, 127 and three touchdowns. He was pretty much the star of the game. Him and Wilson really made this game what it was here in the snow, no less. Very good game. Jack Sutton, 10 tackles in Azeem Victor's stead, being that Azeem Victor is now injured for four weeks, as well as Garrett Windsor, five weeks for Latulale. So three huge injuries, two on defense, one on offense. Going into the divisional round, we take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. We beat them in the regular season, and now we get them again here on the road this time. And there is a very nice throw in the back of the end zone to start it off. Brian Gates is uh, saying hello to the Hinesfield faithful. Now a one-yard touchdown run for the bruiser James Conner able to get in there. 7-7 game. First and goal, second quarter. It's Robert Wilson. He's diving for the end zone, and he gets it. The ref says it is good, and that'll be a touchdown, 14-7. to And then Chris Boswell is blocked by Trey Waynes, picked up by Jamal Adams. Huge turn of events now as the screen play to Miles Gaskin and Gaskin going to dive forward, and he will cross the plane. That is a touchdown. 24-17. to Later on, there's Antonio Brown. They would have to settle for a field goal. Great goal line stand by the Jets. And uh, that's going to be Paul Richardson on a fourth down. Coach Hines did not want to punt the ball to this Steelers offense and give them a chance to take a 27-24 lead. The call works out. It was gutsy, and Robert Wilson made the throws out there today. Two touchdowns, no interceptions, 82% for him. Miles Gaskin, 90 yards. Has not crossed 100 in these playoffs so far. Uh, receiving game, Robbie Anderson was the leader with 52 for the Jets. 
but a nice even spread. Gaskin, Richardson, Gates all doing some work out there. Smithson, Williams, and Hughes, and Moy all with sacks. So huge game for the Jet defense. And now it is the AFC Championship game against the Jacksonville Jaguars. That is right, the 14-2 Jacksonville Jaguars who took care of the New England Patriots to get here. And there is Mark Andrews going to start this game off on a third and seven with a nice long touchdown pass. You don't see too much of him anymore as the receivers take the spotlight, so good to see the tight end doing some work. There's Miles Gaskin on a short yardage touchdown run. We got a 17-10 ball game. And now Robert Wilson getting out of the pocket. Good to scramble. Good to dive. And another diving touchdown by Robert Wilson in this postseason. 24-10 Jets. Into the third quarter, it is Miles Gaskin on the screenplay. Gaskin's got open room. Gaskin inside the five, and he's able to stay on his feet into the end zone. Robert Wilson is loving it. He can get the Jets to the Super Bowl for the first time since the 60s. And there is a misplay by Kevin Tolliver allowing D.D. Westbrook to get into the end zone for the Jaguars, but is it too little too late? A 31-17 game, and Gaskin with another short yardage touchdown led by the fullback Phillips. These teams would trade a touchdown for a field goal a couple of times here, but it's not going to do anything for the Jaguars except make it look like a closer game than what it really was. The Jets go into Jacksonville and destroy these Jaguars. A 44-31 game. Leonard Fournette did all he could do. But Gaskin, over 100 for the first time this postseason with two touchdowns. Robert Wilson ran for a touchdown. The receiving game, not great for the Jets. But Gaskin and Andrews, the two sidekicks in the receiving game, are the ones that get it done today as Robbie Anderson and Garrett Windsor was in Garrett Windsor was injured and Robbie Anderson really didn't make too much of an impact. So we'll look at what the Pro Bowl says here. No quarterbacks. We do get Miles Gaskin into the Pro Bowl. So that's one guy. Uh, we get no receivers in the Pro Bowl. Tight end. Nope. He does not make it. Looking for some linemen and I'm not actually seeing any. So we get no linemen in the Pro Bowl. Uh, no defensive lineman. That's a shock. We do get Azeem Victor. Okay, so, so far we got Gaskin and Victor. Gaskin and Victor both barely made it. As well as Kevin Tolliver. So there you go. And Catanzaro. So we got four guys into the Pro Bowl. Uh, Azeem Victor will be back for the Super Bowl. So that is going to definitely help the defense. And Garrett Windsor will be back to help the offense for the Super Bowl. Who are we taking on? It is the Seattle Seahawks. Seahawks Jets in the Super Bowl, guys. Let me know your score predictions in the comments section below. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new. This series is coming to a head.